hello viewers welcome to another interesting tutorial of brothers tube i'm so happy you are watching my videos today i'm going to take you through the wechat verification process both for new users as well as existing users it is going to cover all the four methods that i promised you in my previous video if you've not watched the previous video on how to create a new wechat account the link is found below this video kindly go and watch it and it will really benefit you a lot as a new user how do you bypass the qr code so that you can easily verify your number without going through a lot of time as well as as an existing user maybe you've changed your device or maybe your device is stolen or maybe your existing device maybe you've, you've deleted wechat and you have to reinstall it and so this video is going to cover how you can verify your number again and then get back on track on wechat all right so let's get into it let's start with how we can bypass the qr code as a new user so that you can easily verify your number without letting anybody to scan your qr code for you So we hit next. We hit sign up again. Very good. As a new user, you are supposed to undergo this security verification. But as I said, this process is going to help you to bypass the QR code that you are supposed to make somebody scan for you. And this process is very simple and we are going to bypass the QR code. And it will give you a different way of verifying your number that is by sending an SMS code to your number so you don't have to think about any QR code scanning let's follow with the process we hit start verification the first step in the verification process is for you to drag this slider to fit into this puzzle and this is where the whole trick is if you're able to work out your way here very well you'll be able to bypass the QR code as soon as you are able to fit the slider into the puzzle piece and then you see the screen quickly disconnect your internet connection turn off your data and then let the security verification load into error and in this case the error that will show is server busy when there is no internet connection it will load and say server busy and in that case if you see that message it means that you've been able to bypass the qr code verification and so it will take you back and then let you to log in again and let you register again by this time with sms verification and then it will rather send you the verification code to your phone and so that is all we move the slider you move it this way now as soon as i leave it it will tell me that I successfully verified with the slider so before it finishes loading i'm supposed to disconnect my internet so watch me i leave the slider it gives this message i remove the cable so as it's loading it will load into server busy error also make sure that your data connection is turned off so that it can load into the error very good so we have this message saying server busy so when this is done you hit close and then you reconnect your internet so i'm going to put in my cable again make sure at this stage after you've had this server busy message make sure um, you turn on your data and i'll hit close so it brings me back here and then it will load let's see what happens voila so you can see it has now given me a different option to verify my number that is verification code is now being sent to my phone number and so as i receive the verification code i just what enter the verification code and that is all voila 
let's assume that the code is 123456. When you receive it, you just click next and then you are able to verify your number. And please take note that when you first click next, sometimes the first attempt to verify using your code may see something like suspicious account. Don't worry, just exit the process when it gives you suspicious warning. Exit the process and then hit sign up again. And this time it will bring you right here. It shouldn't take you to the QR code session again. And then this time you'll be able to go through the verification process. But if on your first attempt after entering this stage, it doesn't give you any suspicious message or anything, go on and that is all. As a new user to WeChat, if you are able to use this method to bypass the QR code and then you are able to reach this stage, kindly let me know in the comment section below. If you are an existing user, it is been assumed that or we know that you have a WeChat account already and then you also have WeChat friends. And so these steps are going to help you to come back on track. You click on login, you have your new device. So you log into your WeChat account. When you hit login, you have the option to you choose your region, you enter your phone number that you use to register for your WeChat, then you hit next, or you even have other option of logging in. Because you already have an account, you can log in via your WeChat ID, your email address, or even your KQ ID. You can also use your Facebook um, account to do it if you use it to register for your WeChat. Good. After you are able to log in with your credentials, the next screen you're going to see is this. They'll ask you to verify your account, and this is what I'm going to discuss with you. So you hit start verification when you click it you are likely to see these options verify via voice print via sms verification code verify via qr code or you can also do it through ask a friend to help you to log in and so i'm going to take you through these steps one by one so let's first go on with the ask friend to verify account using the help friend login if you're an existing user this is an option for you and it's very very helpful when you choose this option which are to give you six digit code and all that you have to do is that your friends that you had on wechat you call them you can either message them or you can call them on phone voice call and then you give them these six codes that WeChat will give you and then you tell this you tell your WeChat friends to send this code to your WeChat account because you are now logging back in so they should send this code to your WeChat account to help you to verify and when you get about three or four of them to do it for you then you can easily get verified and that is very simple so when you've gotten about three of your friends sending the code that WeChat gave you, um, sending that code to your WeChat account, automatically when you hit refresh, your account will get verified and you receive the notification verified successfully. So you can now log on into this new device. Let's take the second step. Another method is the use of the QR code now with this one as i said you are changing device and that is why you are logging in again and so what you do is that when you select this method you take out the original phone then you scan the qr code above on the wechat on this new phone so when you scan this um, the qr code on your new device using the old device then your wechat account gets verified on the new device and you can now use your WeChat on your new device. The third method is by the use of SMS verification code. WeChat will verify your phone number by sending a verification code to the phone number that you used to register for your WeChat. And so in that case, when the code comes, 
you just enter the code that you receive and then you hit submit and you are done but make sure that you enter the verification code before the code becomes invalid and that is something about the sms verification and so we are done with these three methods now the fourth one which is verifying through voice print with this one um, if you did not set it on your old device before switching to the new device it will be a problem this is the reason what you do is that on the old device which has the wechat you open your wechat then you go to settings you first click on me on wechat you go to settings you go to account security you go to create password using voice print and so in this case wechat will allow you to call out certain digits and so um, you have to hold this button then you call out these digits wechat will make you to repeat it with a different set of digits and then the main intention is to capture your voice and so when you are done it will tell you that voice print created so you can now log into wechat via voice print so now that your voice print has been created on the old device you now come to the new wechat um, the new device that you want to have the wechat on you rather select verify via voice print so when you choose this option now on the new device you now be asked to hold down button and then read the gates and so because your voice is captured on the old device the old device which is having the wechat when you hold this button to talk to call out the digits on the new device which has to tell you that verified voice successfully and you hit done you are done verifying your wechat account on your new device using the voice verification and so and so as an existing user these are four different ways that you can also verify your account recently wechat has also introduced another way of verifying that is by facial recognition so sometimes you wouldn't see verify voice print you may also see facial recognition and with that one wechat tries to use your your photo id on the other device to verify you on the new device and so these are some of the ways that you can verify your account as an existing user I hope all these methods are very helpful and if you find any of them from the starting to this point, if any of these methods have helped you to successfully verify your account, kindly let me know in the comment section. And thank you very much for watching my videos and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you find this video very helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to share my videos. Thank you very much and see you in my next video.